All right, welcome back. Uh, video number three. Um, in this, we're going to cover uh, the 3D data error uh, editor of ExoCAD. Um, basically, this is the part where we can cut away stuff on our model. So every now and then when you're scanning in the mouth, you may capture a cotton roll, you might capture the tongue or part of the buccal vestibule, and that may affect how uh, you can come out with a 3D model. Now, ExoCAD does a really nice job of trimming that stuff away, but let me just kind of go over a couple of things that you can do. Also, one cool thing that you can do with this editor is cut away teeth. So maybe you're doing a diagnostic wax up on some teeth that are pretty jacked up, or you want to maybe make a model and get it ready for an immediate implant guide and you want to cut away a tooth. So over here uh, on the left, we have little boxes that allow us to um, turn off and on models. So we can turn these off and on. We can also make things transparent or opaque if we wanted to. But for the sake of this, let's go ahead and turn off our antagonist or our upper model and take a look here. To the right, we have a few um, things that we can play with. We'll talk about True Smile later on, but you may notice that I have some occlusion on some teeth and I've got um, some colors here. This is the Show Distances icon and we can turn that off and on if we wanted to. Um, so over here, uh, we've got a little bit of flash on the side, and so we want to go ahead and cut that off. So we just single click with the left mouse button, and we can come around here and double click at the end. Uh, the area that is selected is highlighted orange, and we have uh, sort of different uh, ways that we can interact with this. So we can go ahead and go into Delete, and that's just going to go ahead and cut it out. But let's say we wanted to do an immediate implant on number 29 over here. Well, we can do the same thing. We can go ahead and single click and single click around this tooth and very carefully so that we don't interfere with the contact of the adjacent tooth. Come back around here and double click. That's going to select this tooth. We can go ahead and delete that. Now we're left with a hole, and we want to obviously fill that hole back up. So we can go ahead now and select a fairly large area around this hole, highlight that area, and now we can go into Close Holes. And what that'll do is just fill all that in for us. So we want this uh, area left over for our dies, so we can go ahead and hit Undo, and undo a couple of times and just go ahead and go to the next step. 